Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a couples counselor, I'm happily married, and I just had twins. I just had twins 10 years ago. I had twins 10 years ago. And look at me now. Same as then, my body is a wreck. Last year, I had this midlife crisis. I, I felt that this year, that this birthday, that this time is all about me, and I'm going to be as good as new. So I saved some money, and I decided to undergo a plastic surgery. Now, you have to understand, 10 years ago, before having kids, I was 70 pounds less. You heard that right, 70 pounds less. I was a hottie. These boobs gave gravity the finger. You had to see me swaying down the street or dancing at the club. And girl, I love to dance. I was the dancing queen, young and sweet only. Only 70 pounds less. So there I was, sitting in the most luxurious professional pr plastic surgery clinic in the city, which shall remain nameless. I was nervous but excited. I was sinking into those soft white leather sofas in the waiting room, browsing through fashion magazine, and bam, I knew exactly what I wanted him to do with my left lines, with my puffy eyes, with my face, with my arms, with my boobs, with my belly, with my hips and thighs and ass. No, no, forget the ass. I love my ass. <laughs> and then I was in a green gown in the room with the most professional, qualified plastic surgery surgeon in the city, which will also remain nameless. And he looked at me in this sharp, pointed, efficient gaze, and he whipped out a thick, black Sharpie. <laughs> As to your eyes, we will inject some Botox here, and here, here, and here, we will get rid of those puffy eyes right over here. We will do a facelifting here. In your arms, we will do a liposuction here and here. In regards to your boobs, well, we will uh, reduce them, lift them, make them bouncy and perky. And in your belly, we will freeze the excess fat. In your hips and thighs, we will suck out the fat and you'll be as good as new. Now think about it. As he was leaving the room, I felt weird. I was dizzy. I... I looked at the mirror, lines of battle drawn all over my face with Sharpie. <laughs> and I didn't want to be as good as new. You see, those eyes, these eyes cried tears of happiness when my babies were born. These careworn, puffy eyes spent months of sleepless nights when my babies were in the incubator in the NICU. These eyes cried non-stop when four less fortunate babies died from a virus next to my son, and he was the only one who survived. These arms, these arms carried them with love and compassion. These arms grabbed each twin under each arm like a football and ran into the bomb shelter when there were sirens of missile attack back home. Those breasts, those breasts produced a liter and a half milk every single day because this was the only way I could support my babies when my belly could lo no longer cradle them. And this belly, this belly carried them for as long as it could before the doctor said, it's too dangerous. You will die from a severe preeclampsia. And those hips and thighs help us 
to come to a new place, a safe place across the ocean. And this body, this body took five part-time different jobs when we just landed so I can support my family. So I took a deep breath, I wiped the tears, I walked away and I never came back. You see, this is my time, this is my year, this is my birthday, and I got my wish. My body is beautiful. My body is as good as it has always been. Thank you. Yeah!